Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now, back when I first started YouTube, right, I just make videos just for fun and just to enjoy the process of creating content. Yep, and also share my passion of cars with you guys. Yep, don't get me wrong, I still do. But what I'm trying to say is, back then I didn't really expect anything return because my channel was this small. Not to say my channel is quite big now, it's still small. But I really didn't expect anything in return until one fine day after I uploaded a video of me unboxing a Christmas gift that is the Luffy X1 device. One person contacted me and then they asked me whether you want me to review the other products of the Luffy device. And little did I know that was actually the founder of the Luffy device. From then on, I actually filmed the Luffy X1, the Luffy XF and you guys seem to love it a lot because this device is gaining traction currently because it's such a useful device. Basically, it shows you everything, every information from the OBD2 port and it's really, really easy to install as well. So yep, and because of you guys, I'm proud to say I'm the first person outside of China to receive this brand new device. Yep, so without further ado, let me introduce you the brand new 2023 Luffy XS. Okay, and here is it guys. So this is the brand new Luffy XS Revolution device. I'm giving you guys a first look right now. So let's unbox it for the moment, okay? So the first thing we have obviously will be the operational manual. So let's see if we don't know anything, everything will be inside here. And it's much more detailed than before as well. You can see there are a lot of graphics. So yeah, let's see if we don't know anything, everything will be inside here, okay? So let's put this aside. And there we have it guys. So this is the design of the brand new Luffy XS device. Let me just pick it up and then take out the screen protector for the moment so you can guys can see much clearer okay the always satisfying moment yes <laughs> always feel so good okay so this is the new device so you can see it's actually a much more simpler and also a much more minimalistic design approach as compared to the Luffy X1 and the Luffy XF so this one has a really rectangular shape and it's a much more slimmer as well you can see it's really really simple okay and this one the screen is larger than before as well okay so if you notice, this one what's different is the Luffy X1 has the buttons at the bottom, a physical button that you can press but they are kind of small. And then the Luffy XF, you have it at the back which is very hard to feel where is it. But now what they did is they actually put it on the right side of the front screen which is very very convenient. And it's also touch screen so you press it actually lights up. Very nice, okay. If you notice at the bottom here also it says GPS dual system. Yes, so now this device actually has GPS incorporated into it and it also has a gyroscopic feature which is really really cool that I'll show you guys later once I install it on the car. Okay, very nice. So now let's put this aside and see what else is inside. Okay, open this up. Open this up. Obviously, firstly you have the hardware kit. So this one basically connects to the OBD2 port of your car and then this one connects to the back end of your device. Okay, and then right here, so this one is the holder so this one installs on the device and then after that you have this packing tape which basically sticks on the dashboard of your car and yeah it's pretty simple that's about it okay so now let's bring the device into life okay so now the device is alive so i've connected the device into the obd2 port of my car and started it up so yeah you can see right now you can immediately recognize the user interface totally different right so what you can see here right remember i talked about the gyroscopic feature so notice when i tilt the device you can see it actually moves which is really, really, really cool. And you notice here there's pitch and roll. So basically, if you go forward, it goes, the pitch goes up. And if I roll, this one actually moves as well. The degree it changes, which is very, very cool. Okay. So, and now there are actually seven different displays. So previously, there are only five. So let me go through, show you. Okay. So there's one. Then this is the second one. Then you have the third. You have the fourth. You have the fifth. You have the sixth and you have the seven. So you got extra two more features as compared to the XF and the X1, okay? So from here, right? So this one, like I said, this one basically shows you the compass. So basically which direction you're heading towards to, okay? Then here, it shows you a few different displays on the right side, okay? So then this one will be the second one. So the second one, you can see this is the ref counter. You got a compass in the middle. So this is the RPM, your speed. The bottom here shows you the temperature, okay? And then the ball here, it shows you the G meter. Okay, really cool. And the next one, so everything's basically the same, just that you have different animation for it. Okay, this one has three, three items at the bottom to show. So you can configure everything. Everything is actually customizable. You can customize to however you want it. Okay, let's say you don't speed, you know, this you can change to whatever you want to. Okay, 
and then here now this is actually my favorite because this one actually is not that pretty because it doesn't have all those animation of the needle moving around but this is really really useful because this one in on one screen it basically shows you up to 12 different display it's very convenient so let's say if something with you is not right it shows you here like let's say the voltage suddenly it drops below 11 you know that your battery is something wrong or the water temperature it goes up to 120 degrees yep you know that there's something leaking or your fan or your radiator has issues yep have you noticed here your cost as well you got attitude as well so with how high you are at now from ground level and then here for some reason let's say if you're lost somewhere and then you got no internet connection or anything you can see where you're at now at the position really really cool okay so then here this will be another one so this one is very familiar you have it on the previous one as well okay basically the ref it actually goes up like this okay now this is what is really really cool so this is what they call the g meter okay if you notice there's an f1 card meter and you see the yellow dot so basically if you break forward you can see the dot it actually moves so this is like the g meter it actually shows you how much g it has it goes to which which direction then here you ref you got rpm you got a g-force here and then when you break it shows you the bar as well okay really really cool then here you got a peak value and here you got intake manifold pressure yeah and then the rest is actually basically the same so now it's so convenient to tap on the right side here instead of at the back okay so you press this now if you go to system setup right you go inside here set up, yep you can see the unit so let's say if you're in the us you can change the mouse per hour and fahrenheit so for us in malaysia so it'll be kilometers per hour and celsius Okay, so you can adjust the speed. If you feel it's not according to what it, your car shows, you can adjust from here. Okay, very cool. And then here for display setup. So this one you can change. Like I said, it's totally customizable. So you can customize however you want it. So let's say this one is, you can see it shows you the speed, right? If you don't want the speed, you can change it to logo as well. So you can see you got different, different logo. You got almost any other car maker logo you can find here. Yeah, there are way too many, there are a lot, there are a lot of logo inside here. Okay, so yeah, you can find your car logo and just put it inside. Okay, then also you can change different things. Okay, so that the water temperature at the bottom you can change. So let's say if I click on it, okay, you can change. So yeah, there are a lot of things you can change from. Yeah, but some cars are, I, I don't have, so it really depends on different cars. If let's let say your car's turbocharged, you can show the turbo pressure and everything. Yep, it really depends. And so let's say if you're driving Honda, you can show the Honda CVT transmission temperature. Okay, so yeah, if each different car has different things. Okay, it really depends. Okay, and then let's say the warning setup, you click on this. So like I said, this will actually help me various times. Okay, this will actually help me several times. So if for example, the voltage, see I put 11, right? So it drops below 11, it actually beeps, let you know that the voltage is very low. And then the water temperature so this actually happened to me before okay so the temperature went up 120 it actually beeped so yeah then after that a few minutes after that my car overheated so yeah this is very cool so this one actually saves you from being to stuck on the side of the road so it lets you know beforehand which is very very convenient that's one of the main reason why i actually purchased this device okay you go back okay so you got time and time mode as well so time and time mode basically shows you your cars, how fast it goes from 0 to 100 km per hour or 0 to 200 km per hour and now it's much more accurate because now it has GPS so basically it follows the speed like on your waist okay and then the bottom so this is the diagnostic trouble code error so you can clear any errors if you have any error codes okay ECU other setup user data so G meter and gyroscope setup so this is something new so you got you can calibrate it you can put the G meter range what range you want two G's okay so you can you, you can change the pitch and roll warning as well okay so gps setup the coordinate whether you want degrees or any other units okay yeah and i think that's about it if you guys are interested in purchasing this product don't worry it will soon be available worldwide okay so if you guys have any inquiries or any questions feel free to leave it down in the comment section below if you want to know anything more about this free access product okay yeah i hope you guys enjoyed because this one, I was really, really excited when I first received it. And yep, I'm really excited for you guys to try it out as well. Okay? Yeah, and I think that's about it. With that said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with friends. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.